He needs to step down now. A shockwave in the courthouse. The governor's office has confirmed that a resignation was received today from Commissioner Greg Skrepnak. The two-term commissioner bows out in a letter admitting mistakes and that he's spoken to unnamed authorities. Greg Skrepanak will change his focus. And it's time for him to address the personal challenges he has now. And I know how much uh, serving as a commissioner meant to Greg. Skrepanak entered office almost six years ago with bold plans. There is a new era on the rise and a fresh face with a storied past. What we offer, what Tom and I, I offer is that new, that new fresh look. You know, it's time to dream again. But plans soon snagged as Skrepanak would borrow annually just to pay the bills. Debt mounted as Skrepanak oversaw controversial deals that cost the county tens of millions. On the end of it all, county workers. Well, layoffs would be our last option. Money problems at the forefront. Skrepanak's administration in 2007 was fiercely criticized for using county debit cards for personal expenses. And more recently, former members of Skrepanak's staff have tumbled in light of federal charges. Now, judges will choose a successor. Well, it'll be a secret ballot as the procedure has been established in the past by the court. As questions of stability in county government persist. Well, this is a cleansing process that we're going through now. The county is being cleaned up. It's clean, being cleaned up of an awful lot of sins that have taken place in the past. That was our Joe Holden reporting. Now our lead I-team investigator Andy Mahalshik takes a look at how this will affect the Luzerne County budget. Luzerne County Commissioner Greg Skrepanak was the tie-breaking vote in a budget deadlock. Luzerne County now with only two commissioners left. They're at odds over the final spending plan. Hanging in the balance, a big tax hike for taxpayers or massive county layoffs. And obviously the things that are most important to the county right now is getting our budget passed. We have 14 days. Um, we're pretty much at an impasse. The county court and bank must now appoint a replacement for Skrepnak. The process is that, uh, you know, we'll have an application period, obviously. Um, the judges will, I, I'm sure, interview those people that may be interested in serving as commissioner for the next two years, and then we will um, have, have them appoint someone. The county budget, by law, has to be passed by December 31st. If not, there's a very good possibility the county could be shut down. At Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News.